How's it going everybody? This is Jeff with Hunting with Rocks. Today we're doing something a little different. Today I'm not actually out hunting rocks. Today I'm going to be cleaning a rock and I'll show you how we're going to be doing that. So we're going to get in here. This is a piece of Druzy Quartz I found at Hunter Ridge Rocks. And we're going to get all this out. This is barite in there. And that barite has a Mohs hardness of, I want to say it's three to four, I could be a little low and a little high on it. And to do that, we're going to be using my handy dandy little drill here with a wire wheel brush. The wire wheel brush should have a Mohs hardness of around 4.5 to five. Druzy Quartz is a Mohs hardness of seven. This means that that wire brush will not scratch the Druzy, but it should in fact take the barite out. So I'm going to get this set up and uh, we're going to see how well it does. I almost forgot one other real important thing. Whenever you're doing this, wear your safety glasses. There will be stuff coming off of here. You only have two sets, of, well you only have one set of eyes, you only have two eyes. And uh, it's really hard to rock hunt if you don't have any eyes. But keep them safe, let's get to this. All right, I'm about to start. Now this could become loud and annoying, so if it is, I'm going to kill the sound and I'll just do voiceover. That way it's not loud and annoying, it's just me talking, which should just be annoying. So I sped up the video here. I actually ground on the piece of Druzy Quartz for about maybe six, seven minutes here. Uh, with the grinder going, it was incredibly loud and nobody wants to watch it for that long. So sped it up and we'll get back to the video in a second. I moved over to a little more stable platform. The wooden table I was working on was bouncing around a bit. Now you can see how this has picked up kind of a silvery look to it. That's okay, all that is is the wire from the brush leaving steel marks on it. Those will come out. But as you can see the barite has begun to be eaten away. This is kind of a process. It will take a little bit, but uh, we'll get this knocked out and I'll show you how we get rid of the uh, the grayness to it. This little clip here, this is actually left at normal speed. The others I kicked up to six times speed, so this tells you about how fast I'm working. Okay, I'm going to kill my camera for a little bit. Um, I'm going to keep working on this and I will turn it back on whenever I'm near complete, and uh, I'll give you guys an idea of time. Uh, tell you what, let me get my phone. So it is 2.52 my time. Oops, sorry about that. 2.52 my time. We'll kick it on again whenever I'm done. We'll see how much time's passed. Okay, I ground on it for another four minutes. Time's now 2.56 p.m. Um, I've taken the piece of Druzy and it is sitting in a bucket of muriatic acid right now. It shouldn't take very long to get the wire part off of here. The sparks you saw were actually the sparks from this as they broke free from the quartz crystal. Quartz is a 7 on the Mohs hardness scale. It's the same as chert, same as flint. That's how uh, flint steel worked. You're not actually sparking from the rock. You're actually sparking from the piece of metal that you strike against it. So, same same thing, only except for, you know, I'm cleaning barite off of it. So let's give this a couple minutes in the acid. When I pull it out, I'll put it into a solution of baking soda and water, and then I'll show you again, and we'll show you the time. So right now, since I've talked for about 57 seconds, we're at 2.57 p.m. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Okay, guys, the time is now 3.04 p.m. I'm going to pull the Druzy out of the muriatic acid, give it a little dip in my uh, solution of water and baking soda. Again, PPE, make sure you're wearing a, a glove that you can use. You could probably use iron out on this. I don't know, I use muriatic acid, but I do a lot of crazy things. See, a lot of that barite has come off. Is it spotless? No. But the rest of that can be done with a Dremel tool. Also, as you can see, it's a little chilly outside. I have, uh, I have another crystal formation here, uh, ice. 
that actually makes it a true crystal since I didn't make it myself it's been cold as can be outside but as you can see I digress we've taken a lot of that barite out the acid has eaten away the iron that's been on the side it could probably have stayed in there a little longer but this is just a short video to give you an idea so that is one of the ways you can do to clean your Druzy quartz dealing with crystals with cleaning crystals it's all about the most hardness scale folks if you know that if you learn that then that will assist you a great deal the last thing you would ever want to do the steel wheel with would be on like calcite calcite would probably eat up pretty quick your softer gemstones and things like that you just kind of gotta live with what you have um, doing quartz because it is so hard you can use just about anything so this is one of my pieces here this is a botroidal druzy looks like grapes Troidal is a Greek word this here we have ferrite possibly hematite on there but the grayness that you're seeing that is the chalcedony that won't come off you can acid bath that you can iron out you can do everything but in order to get that off you're going to actually destroy your crystals if you're going for the agate that's underneath that's fine getting that grayness off will not work here's another piece that has it on there and then here's a good example of it you can see little bits of crystal poking out through the top but it's got that uh, chalcedony on there not going to come off folks it's a pretty piece but it's going to stay that gray well it was a short video but i hope you enjoyed it uh, i hope to see you out there whenever i'm out hunting rocks and as always i'm jeff i hope this video gets a like share and subscribe from you and uh i'll see y'all later